Now, a new strategy to control the spread of HIV and AIDS in the Western region has been launched in Second Day. It is a joint initiative by the government of Ghana and the USA to drastically cut down on the number of new HIV infections and HIV-related deaths in the region by 2020. The Western region, according to UNAIDS, now has the largest population of female sex workers, estimated at 20,000, attributed to the increase in the growth of natural resource industries. This has also led to a rise in the HIV prevalence rate among these groups, which currently stands at 7%, a figure higher than that of the general population, which stands at 1.7%. So the government of Ghana and the U.S. have set a target to control the epidemic in the Western region. To achieve this goal, Ghana adopted the UNAIDS 1990-90 Fast Track Goals to ensure that 90% of people living with HIV know their status, 90% of those who know they are positive receive treatment, and 90% of people on treatment are virally suppressed. The Acting Director General of Ghana AIDS Commission, Dr. Trema Etiahini, said Ghana has the logistics and capacity in terms of clinicians and health staff. He says there is therefore no room to fail to achieve set targets. He assured staff of the Ghana Health Service of government's commitment to control the epidemic. Ghana can achieve epidemic control within the next five years if we all work together and put our shoulders to the wheel. There is no reason why this cannot be achieved. Treatment is free. Testing is free. And so when one test positive should be quickly linked to care and then be retained in care to ensure that they achieve viral suppression so that they do not transmit the virus to their partners. And by that, we will reduce new infections in the country. The Director of Public Health at the Ghana Health Service, Dr. Bedu Sarkodie, said all partners must collaborate to address challenges such as stigma and discrimination to prevent new infections. We have targeted to improve mother-to-child transmission and as a country, we are moving the prevention of mother-to-child transmission to elimination mode. The Deputy Western Regional Minister, Mrs. Gifty Eugenia Kusi said such interventions must be embraced by all because the country can only develop with a healthy population. The U.S. Ambassador, Madame Stephanie Sullivan, was hopeful that the Western region will achieve the 1990-90 target by September 2020 for emulation by other regions. She said new infections must be linked to treatment and ensure they stay.